to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. In keeping with the reverence of the Mass, we ask that you please turn off your cell phones. Today's Mass is being offered for our parishioners. Please continue to see the bulletin, social media, our parish website, and the parish app for current information and updates. For those who have interest, the church is open Saturday from 5 to 5.30 and Sunday from 10 to 11 to receive communion, a spiritual visit, confession, or request the sacrament of the sick. Denver Catholic, Catholic Biblical School registration information is now available. See posters and flyers at the entrances of the church and at the parish office. Raffle tickets are available after all Masses, online through our parish website, and in the parish office Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Coming soon, on, on Sunday, July 12th, we will have a special takeout Italian dinner. More information to follow. liturgical handout that you have there, let us uh, do the confidio together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray together the prayer of praise. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, these two people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. And we pray. God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated now. God's holy word. Oh, that's right, you don't have the books. Oh, yeah, you have it on the sheets. You can look at the sheet for the readings. You have to have good, strong eyes to see the readings. Okay. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journey in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with men, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, with its seraph, serpents, and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock, and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Praise the Lord in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord in Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord in Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord of Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinance to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord of Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. sheets there you'll find the sequence for Corpus Christi and we'll say that together. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilled. Isaac bound our victim willing. Past his hands like blood still. Man to the Father sent. Very bread of good shepherd tend us. Jesus of your love be friends. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us. In the land of life to see. You who all things can and know. Who on earth such beauty stole. Grants us with your saints and provosts. Where in the heavenly peace you shall go. Fellow heirs and guests to be. Uh, 
Aleluya, aleluya. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Aleluya, aleluya. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our Lord. In the words of the gospel, may our sins be washed from us. Such beautiful passages today and build on the gospel we just heard. I'll be singing this little refrain. I'm asking you to listen. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. We heard today from Deuteronomy, that Moses tells the Israelites, remember, for 40 years the Lord directed you, remember how the Lord brought you out of the land of Egypt. That's why the Passover every year, because they follow a different sense of understanding the moon, the Jewish people, connects with us in our Christian celebration of Holy Thursday. In the first Corinthians, we share in the cup of blessing and bread, broken, for we are one body. And in the Gospel of John, Jesus assures the Jews, my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. The one who feeds on me lives forever. can't get into a lot of philosophy and theology, but it's easy. The understanding of sacrifice and a meal is so important in the understanding of the Jewish tradition. And the same with the Eucharist. It's the meal and the sacrifice as Jesus offers himself as a constant reminder uh, for his presence with us. Remembering is the key word today. The bread the manna in the desert for the Jewish people was a manifestation of God's care for them. The bread and the cup of wine that Jesus extends to his apostles takes on a very profound experience, not only treasured by the Lord's close 12 friends, but was taken up by the early believers of Jesus. The Mass is rooted in the scriptures 
of the synagogues. And then in the remembrance of Jesus at the Last Supper becomes the bond of unity among the early Christian community and remains that way with us today. Like the shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. This feast that we celebrate today, the most holy body and blood of the Lord, goes back to the 13th century. Our, it is our key sacrament after baptism in the, is the Eucharist. And we are encouraged to receive Holy Communion, the Eucharist, every time we attend Mass. Sometimes people ask me if they're going to a funeral or a wedding and they've been at a morning Mass, can we receive Communion? Yes, you can. Every time you go to Mass, you receive it. It is not meant to be a sign of confusion or arguing as to the real presence of Jesus. The bottom line is to accept what Jesus says, my flesh is food and my blood is real drink. It's that spiritual understanding, again, sacrifice and meal, spiritual understanding, our spiritual drink, our spiritual bread, it comes together in the same meaning the Eucharist leads to that fullness of life here and now and in the future. We remember as Moses our urges in Deuteronomy today, not to be, not for sentiment's sake, but in order to again renew the presence of the Lord alive within us. How has our understanding of Holy Communion changed over the years? by studying, by being present to Scripture, taking time to understand the, the Scriptures as they unfold for us in our catechisms and in our theologies and in our philosophies. How has it remained the same? We remember. Like the shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. inside there, get your eyes adjusted to the print. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From, from there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gathered around the table of the Lord, we call to mind our needs and the needs of the world. Our response, Jesus, remain with us. That believers everywhere seek the Eucharist with greater faith, reverence, and desire, we pray to you. Jesus, remain with us. 
remain with us. That the earth and the whole universe echo the beauty and love of the universe. We praise the Lord. Jesus remained with us. That those whose lives of loneliness and despair find comfort in the universe. We praise the Lord. Jesus remain with us. That fathers, especially those who have buried a child, be strengthened and nourished by the universe. We praise the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. That these followers of Jesus become more like him through frequent reception of communion. We pray to the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. And for our parishioners for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. Please see the bulletin for those we continue to pray for in their healing. And for Lily DiPutino, Leslie Cavalieri, Father Gabriel Remichelti, our firefighters, police officers, military personnel, all frontline workers and their families, we pray to the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. And for the deceased, especially Jeanette Tallarico, may all the faithful depart and rest in peace, and especially those who have died from the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. Finally, let us pray for the intentions we hold in our hearts, and especially for the continued support of the annual Archbishop's Appeal and continuing healing in our world of those afflicted by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Jesus, remain with us. For the intentions you hold in your heart, Place them before the Lord in silence. Lord, we present these intentions, those spoken and those in our hearts. Deepen within us your continued presence, especially as in our Catholic faith, we have such a respect as you come to us in Holy Communion. Continue to fill us with the faith that you always speak of in the Gospels. Amen. Please be seated. Charlie and Mario, would you uh, get the baskets in the back? Can you take this side, Mario? And Charlie, get that. Will you put the money in the basket back there and just put it in that plastic bag? And then please use the, uh, that liquid to cleanse your hands. You don't have to seal the bag. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, in your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given you in hands it made, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God.
Thank you for your kindness. Lord, wash away my own hands. our hands a little bit because there's a connection to what the collection before they had money people would bring animals and vegetables and fruit that's why the priest would wash his hands it's symbolic of what the original ways before money was used uh, for an offering so the connection is still there but in a different way my brothers and sisters the table is prepared pray now that these gifts of bread and wine may be acceptable by God, our Almighty Creator. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings we here present, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you made them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful, wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We'll be using Eucharistic prayer number one. We very seldom use this anymore because it dates back to around the 13th century when the Eucharist became the Corpus Christi, became the format of celebration. Especially, it continues in a lot of, well, right now with this virus happening, it's not going to be processions throughout the streets, huh? Especially in Europe, they still maintain that in South America. So this Eucharistic prayer, it, it takes in a lot of things that we used to use constantly before Vatican II. After Vatican II, we were given other forms of the Eucharistic prayer. The shortest one that we mostly use is the earliest going back to the third century. This is the older one going back to about the 12th or 3rd century, especially after the Council of Trent. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guide, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, our Holy Father Francis, our Holy Father of Rome, our Bishop of Denver Samuel, his assistant Bishop Orde, and all who, those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, who 
whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and pay their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul and Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, and that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal separation, and counted among the flock of those who have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to accept and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most blessed Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took his pre precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as much you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless in humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty Father, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, 
Jesus, who had brought before us the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, though your sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, and Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, let us behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be. After we receive the Eucharist, some time, a little meditation, the Lord's presence here um, to kneel, or you need to be seated, you can, on this special feast of Corpus Christi.
it's come up in one line, try to stay on those markings so we don't get too close together.
us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may be delighted for all eternity and then share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us this day and week and keep us safe and keep us in the proper frame of mind as we continue to heal from the virus in our, in our world. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do we have any birthdays or anniversaries today? Let us go then to love and serve the Lord. Let us be together. Thank you for your presence. Thank you.